something like that.
Hello, 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 hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, hello, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hi, everybody. Hi, How you doing? Good evening. Hello. How you hello, doing? Teacher. Nice. I'm How are you? Teacher. So far, so good. Everything is okay. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. And you? How you doing tonight? Bye. Fine. Everything okay? Life in general, it's okay? That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, welcome to our session today, guys. I'm very, very happy to see you. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, let's start with five minutes practice. What do you remember from yesterday's class? What do you remember? Mm. The preposition, teacher. The preposition. The prepositions. What are some examples of prepositions? Behind, on, next to, on, in front. Under. Correct. <laughs> That's amazing. On, in, right? From, under, right? That's amazing, guys. So I'm very happy you're learning. You're learning. Yesterday, we were practicing in and also from, right? And also the other propositions. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah. Also, we studied the negative statements with the verb to be. We studied negative statements. Can somebody say one example of a negative statement with the verb to be? I'm not from Honduras. Correct. I am not. I am not um, from Honduras. Thank you. One more example, please. It's not from Italy. Could you repeat, please? It's not from Italy. Italy. Ah, Italy. Italy. Yeah. Italy. I am not from Italy. Italy. Okay, that is correct. I am not from Italy. That is correct. Okay, can you say examples using different subject pronouns? Like you, he, she, we, or they? There's no doctor. I'm sorry? There's no other doctor. They. They. Not are. Are not. They are not a doctor. Mm. Ahí no vamos a necesitar un artículo a. Okay, porque es plural. They are not doctors. Can doctors. you repeat? They no are doctors. They are not they are doctors. Not doctors. Can you repeat, guys? They, they are, are not, not doctors. doctors. They are not doctors. Wait, wait, wait. They Teacher, are not doctors. La they are not doctors. They are not doctors. When 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 doctor are not doctors. When they 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 are not doctors. they are not doctors. When 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 they are not doctors
doctors, plural. Give me one more example, one more example. Negative statements with the verb to be. We are not from Spain. Correct. We are not from Spain. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Next example. Try, try, try. Try. We are not from the United States. We are not from the United States. Alexandra, activate your camera, Alexandra. It's necessary. Okay. Yeah. Correct. That is correct. Thank you for your example. Give me one more example. Practice time. Practice time. Negative statement with the bird to be. She is not from Italy. Correct. She is not from Italy. ¿Cómo le quedaría eso ya con contracción? She said not. She said not. not. She's not. Podemos decir, she's not. O podemos decir, she isn't. She isn't. She isn't. She isn't from she Italy. Isn't. She, she isn't from Italy. Or, she or she's not from Italy. She's, she's not from Italy. Do you understand? For example, my mother, my mother isn't yes. from the United States. But she is in the United States now. Do you understand? Okay. ¿Se entendió? Las dos cosas. Ella está y vive ahí. Es de allí y está ahí. Ah, no, que no está y no vive ahí. <laughs> que ella no es de ahí. <laughs> What? Dale, Andrea, ¿cómo sería, Andrea? Que ella no es de Estados Unidos, pero vive ahora en Estados Unidos, así sería. Fíjense cómo es, es correcto, fíjense cómo es el contraste de las, de las preposiciones, ¿verdad? Cómo puedo eh, malinterpretar algo, ¿verdad? Es correcto. In es que está, ¿verdad? En el lugar, in the United States, in El Salvador, in Mexico, pero from es de originalidad, de, de origen de la persona, donde la persona eh, nació, ¿verdad? De dónde viene. Um, I am from El Rosario de la Paz, right? A, a friend of mine says like that. Uh, I am from, um, what? Aguilares City, alguien me dijo por ahí. Right? So those are just examples. You, huh, Cindy? Okay, very good. Continue. Oh, just hora, just hora. Entonces vamos a la attendance. Let me call attendance real quick. Let me open my, let me open my, my notepad. Oops. Okay, here it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me mention your name. Let me call it attendance. And um, well, well, here it is. All right, let me go with Adan Isaias Cornejo Ramirez. Adan Wilfredo Arevalo Linares. Your teacher. Alan Enrique Rosales Sorto. Present teacher. Alexandra Milena Rendon Saldaña. Present. Ana Gabriela Murillo Martinez. No. Ok, Ana Margarita Martinez Present. de Castillo. Oh. Present. Ok, Ana Margarita Martinez. No, Ana Margarita Márquez de Castillo. Present. Ok, thank you. Y Ana Gabriela Murillo Martínez dijo que está acá. No, ¿verdad? Ok. Perfect. Six, seven, ok. Yo, Gabriela Murillo sí está presente. Gabriela Murillo Martínez. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ok. And then Ana Noemí Hernández de Moreira. I'm here, teacher. Andrea Present. Elizabeth González Burgos. Present, teacher. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Recinos. Present. Ángel René Esquivel Anda Verde. Present teacher. Ángela María Parada Castro. Present teacher. Antonio Alberto Martínez Pérez. I'm here teacher. Awesome. Ok. Bernardo Antonio Herrera Díaz. Ok. 
Okay. Blanca Elizabeth Fuentes Menéndez. Present teacher. Blanca Jamilet Aquino Villa Mariona. Brenda Maricela Tobar Aguilar. No. Okay. Brian Isaac Escamilla Hernandez. Carlos. Okay. Carlos Alejandro Perez Caravantes. Okay. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. I'm here. Okay, sir. Carlos Manuel Ramos Epera. Here I am. Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla Orantes. Present teacher. Okay, Carmen. Carmen Lizette Santillana Terretana. Present teacher. Cesar Alejandro Ramirez. No, Ramos Cepeda. I'm sorry. Present teacher. Okay, Cindy Marielos Figueroa Mejia. Hello, I'm here. Hello, and Claudia Lizette Lopez Alvarado. Present. Dalila del Carmen Romero Guerra. Present. Daniela Alejandra Candray Galvez. Ok. David Antonio López Torres. Ok. David Benjamín Aguirre Ayala. Present teacher. Welcome to the class, sir. And last but not least, we have David Ezequiel Sanchez Muñoz. All right. Thank you, guys. Let me go ahead and. Um, Antonio Martinez Perez present. All right. All right. Thank you. Teacher, eh, soy Daniela. No sé si me puso, pero creo que no se me activó el micrófono. Daniela Candray, Daniela Candray, over here. Let me see. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. Ahorita lo ubicamos ahí, Miss. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to the session, guys. Let me go ahead and share our screen. Share our screen siempre um, with friendly reminders, right? Eh, recordatorios ahí, right? De estar pendientes de su audio. Si ustedes tienen problemas de, uh, pues, interrumpir para no afectar, ok, la atención y el aprendizaje completo de todos los compañeros, right? So, tomar eso en cuenta, además de tener las cámaras activadas. Ok, so, today's objective, here we go. In this class, we will learn how to form negative statements, just no questions. Negative statements, just no questions questions with the bird to be late now let me talk about making questions with be this is the structure to follow verb be plus subject plus complement we're going to take the examples from this chart so oh yeah you, yesterday we saw this one right you yeah, I'm sorry. From California. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Is the next one. This one. Your evaluation, right? Your evaluation. And then we have um, get familiar, become familiar with syllable stress. Syllable stress. Syllable stress. Syllable, syllable stress. Let's check. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn a few rules on how to stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only using long words. Two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. 
In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers. And in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13. 13. 13 13 13 13 13 13 you see the difference? Thirteen. 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 Thirteen.
para no, decir no, los, los no. años, por ejemplo, los años de nacimiento, por ejemplo, los que ya somos, los que aún somos de la antigua generación, ¿verdad? 1900 de los tantos tantos, right? Vamos a decir 19. Vamos a decir los números de dos en dos. Por ejemplo, si es 1990, voy a decir 1990. Sí. Yes. 1995. 1995. Y así como lo que, así como yo que soy de 2003, tengo que decir este 2003. You better say 2003. 2003. Okay. I, I recommend you, you to say I recommend you to say 2003 porque se oye más nativo al decirlo así, ok? 2003. Ok, okay. Uh, any other question? Any other question? Right. We see the numbers there, 11, 12, right? 20, 21, 40, 41, etc. You have any question there? For example, no. 100. Repeat, guys. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. Or you can say one hundred and one. You can say one hundred two. Or one hundred and two. One hundred and two. One hundred and two. Okay, okay, okay. Let me ask you some questions about numbers. How do you say in English number? Let me see. Trece. How do you say? How do you say in English el número noventa? Acuérdense que las decenas van por entonación falling, falling intonation, para abajo, ¿verdad? 90. 90. 90. Sí, podemos decir 90, 90, como en, como en British English, right? 90, right? Pero en American English, 90. 90. 90. 90. 90. Como con R. 90. 90. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. How do you say in English 25? 25. How do you say 15? 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. What? 50. Hey, don't change the pronunciation. It's 50. 50. 50. But repitamos las, las decenas, all right? 10. Repeat 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. Or, or 20. 20. 20. ¿Cómo prefieren? 20. 20. 20. 20. Or 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. Okay. 20. 20. Okay. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20
All the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30, you'll have, you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now is your turn to practice pronunciation. I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation and record yourself on book. If you guys have any question on any of these numbers, in teoría tenemos que saber los números desde el cero hasta el 103. From zero. In theory, we have to know the numbers from zero to 103. Do you have any problem with that? No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Honestly, no. seriously. No yeah. problem. <laughs> so 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 so. What's the problem? No, What which number? No, no. <laughs> bueno, una of the buena forma de practicar es con los telephone numbers, okay? Remember, you can practice with telephone numbers, with home phone number, cell phone number, work phone number, okay? So, practice makes Perfect, okay? Brew.com. After that, you need to share the link of the recording in our discussion forums. All right. Let's go next. Eh, teacher, ¿cómo era la tarea? ¿Cuál tarea? ¿La del audio? Sí. Los números del 0 a 103. ¿Cómo así? Esa no la he dejado yo. ¿Cuál tarea? No, no, no. El audio, teacher, es similar a, a la anterior del abecedario que teníamos que mandar por WhatsApp Voice, ¿no? Ahorita, ah. sí, ah, pero... Sí, lo acabo de decir. Eh, ¿La haremos o no? La anterior, ¿verdad? Permitíme. One second, one second. Y el abecedario también no había dejado que, que de tarea. Creo que hubo una confusión en lo que dijo el teacher Caleb. Sí, 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 creo que me confundí. Quiere, quiere recalcar. Este, sí, si me permite, el teacher dijo que es necesario que al menos nos aprendamos del 1 al 103. No es tarea. Pero sí debemos, uh -huh. claro. Yeah, thank you, sir. Eh, sí, quería asegurarme de que todos estemos al nivel con estos números. Si alguien tiene algún problema, dígamelo ahorita para ver si pronunciamos, right? Si repetimos. Hey, guys, el spelling también es importante, ¿verdad? Eh, fijémonos también cómo se va escribiendo, si es posible, hagan ¿qué? la mitad de una página de escritura para ir probando, right? The numbers, ¿ok? Es importante que también practiquemos el writing. You need to practice writing, ¿ok? So, what number is difficult to pronounce? A mí me costaba el 13, la verdad. 13. 30. Yo me confundía porque, porque yo no. 30. Ajá, la diferencia entre 13 y 30. Ok. No, no pelaba yo en realidad los, los dientes con los, con los teen. Siempre. Teen. 14. En cambio, los otros son falling intonation. 30. 40. 50. Una forma de también practicar es con la edad, ¿verdad? How old are you? Right? Right? Aunque a las mujeres no les gusta, women don't like that question, right? Pero a manera de práctica no. sería bueno, right? Si practicamos. ¿Sí? ¿Ya? Yeah? A ver, practiquemos unos tres minutos con eso. Let me see. Uh, let me see a boy. Let me see Alan Rosales. How old are you, Alan? Mm, I am 21 years old. I'm sorry? I am 21 years old. Very good, very good. Okay, Alan, make the question to a different participant. Ask la pregunta a otro, a otro classmate. How old are you? 
Eh, Ana Noemi. How old are you? Digámosle, excuse, excuse me, Ana Noemi. Excuse me, Ana Noemi. How old are you? Uh, hi, everyone. My old is 27. 20? No, 37. 30. 37. Yeah. Sí, cuando damos la edad, digamos, I am, jamás vamos a decir como decimos en español, I have, never, ¿ok? En In inglés vamos a usar el verbo to be, yo estoy, ¿ok, guys? Para dar la edad, tomen nota, please. Ese es un pecado capital, ¿ok? I am, vamos a decirlo, I am, 27. Um, I am. Sí, ¿Dónde está el chat acá? Quiero ver, chat, 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 chat. Acá está. Ok, vamos a decir, I'm contracted, right? I, 27 um, years, um, years old. 27 years old. Yes. I'm 27 years old. Repeat, guys. I'm years 27 old. Years, 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 old. Old. years, years old. old. Years old. Years old. Years old. Years, years old. old. Years old. Years old. Okay, Noemi, pass the question. Years old. Years. 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 Okay. Years old. Molesta el ficha. I am 27 years old. Ajá, Noemi. How old are you, Andrea? Who, who Andrea? Which, which Andrea? Which Andrea? We have two Andreas. Burgos. Burgos. Burgos, yes. Hi, uh, hi everyone. I am 22 years old. Perfect. Okay. No correction. No correction. Continue, Ms. Burgos. Um, um, Say, excuse me. Um, excuse me, Ana Margarita. Hi. How old are you? X. Hi, January 1, 1975. Ah, <laughs> that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Creo que se confundió ahí. ¿Cómo sería ahí, compañeros? Entonces ella me estaba dando el año en que nació. Ajá, fecha de nacimiento. Sí, mis, ahí, ahí sí. Entonces... La pregunta es, how old are you? Ahí está en el chat, se las estoy chateando, how solo que pónganmele ahí el, el, el question how mark, are you? porque yo no, no tengo acá how, configurado el, el signo de interrogación. How, how old are, are you? How old are you? ¿Qué, es, ¿Qué edad? ¿Cuál es tu edad? Usted va a responder, I'm, uh, va a decir I'm, la edad, oh, right? I'm. Years, pronunciamos la S porque no es un año el que usted tiene, ¿ok? Ya son varios añitos los que usted tiene. Entonces, years old. Years old. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Angela. Vaya, ¿quién seguía ahí? Unas dos preguntas más. Next. ¿Qué seguía? Ana Margarita. Margarita. Come on, you have the microphone. Para hacer la pregunta, me puede ayudar. Yes, ask the question. ¿Cómo serían, chicos? What's the question? How old are you? Excuse me, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Es importante romper el hielo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, usted dice la palabra para romper el hielo, que es excuse me, right? Excuse me. Decimos el nombre de la víctima, digo, el compañero, right? Y la pregunta. ¿Está lista, Margarita? ¿Sí? Bien. Excuse me. Y luego, vuélvamelo a decir, por favor. How old are you? Excuse how, me, how, how, how old are you? How old are you, René? René? René, estás viendo el partido, René. Oh my God. Vaya. Sigamos entonces, chicos. Dejamos no, no, t-shirt. I am here. 
Sure. Pero I have a question. El segundo tiempo Exacto. le va a tocar ver. Ajá. Sure. I have a question. No me hagan trampa, guys. Come on. Okay, go ahead with the question. Go ahead with the question. Sure. Eh, oh, solo oh. una. Eh, la pregunta es en la parte de, eh, de cuando se pregunta la edad eh, en la palabra OLD. OLD. Se, oh, siempre la L es muda. Fíjate que no. No, en realidad se, no. Se, oh, se, oh, fíjate oh, que no, porque la lengua la pones arriba. Oh, oh, y después da la D. Como old. 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 Ahí está. Ahí está. How ah. old are you? Old. Oh, 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 tratamos oh, de unir, oh, guys. Tratamos de unir. How old? Unido. Oh, oh, how old? old. No oh, con el how, pronunciémoslo how, bien. Abra oh, la boca. Oh, how, 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 Como el saludo how, indio, ¿verdad? How, 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 how old are you? How old are you? How old Vaya, ¿quién le tocaba, René? Terminamos esa práctica con usted, René. Vamos. Make the question. Excuse me. Uh, perdón. Let me see. Y cualquiera, todos quieren participar, pero solo un. All right, all right, all right. Uh, excuse me, Alexandra Rendón. How old are you? Hi, everyone. I am 24 years old. Thank you. Thank you for the information. Y René, ¿y clase sería how or, or how? How. How are you? How? 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 How old are you? How old are you? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Objective. You will become familiar with numbers from. Bueno, esto ya es lo que hicimos, verdad? Let me see. Sí, esto es ya lo que hicimos. So let me go to the next one, next page. Oh. Ahora vamos con WH questions with the bird to be. WH questions. Ya vimos yes, no questions. Si ¿Sí se acuerdan, right? Are you, is he, is she? Right? Yes. Ahora vamos con WH words. Estas son, son preguntas, guys, que ya nos obligan a dar información. Ya no solo vamos a decir un yes o un no, ya no, ¿verdad? Tenemos que dar information. So check it out. Learn how to form WH questions with me. The first thing that I would like to explain is the WH words. Whenever we say WH words, we refer to the following. Who, what, when, where, how, why. On your screen, you can see these words display. Let me write the rule to follow in order to form WH questions would be. You're going to have a WH word plus the verb to be. plus some kind of pronoun or complement. Let's take a look at some of the examples on the screen. What's your name? And the answer for that type of question is, my name is Jill. Who's that? And the answer for that type of question is, he's my brother. Who are they? And the answer for that type of question is, they're my classmates. Where are you from? And the answer for that type of question is, I'm from Canada. How old is he? He's 21. Where are they from? They're from Rio. How are you today? I'm just fine. What's he like? He's very nice. What's real like? It's very beautiful. Okay, perfect. Guys, vamos a parar acá un ratito para enfocarnos en estas preguntas, okay? Um, if you see, there we have all the WH questions. Primero, 
identifiquémoslas. Let's identify the WH questions. For example, what? W-H-A-T, what? Podemos usarlo con is, what is, or what are, right? Depending if it's singular or plural. También tenemos where, que ya lo habíamos visto. Where, repeat, where. 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 Y cada vez que damos where. un WH word, la, la W, da, W, nos, nos obliga where. a hacer un círculo en la boca. What? Where. Where? What? 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 Where? 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 How? 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 What? How? How? Who? 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 Okay. Who? Very Who? well. So let's analyze the first question. What's your name? Repeat, what's, what's your name? name? What's your 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 name? Natural, what's natural. What's your name? The what's answer is, name? my name is what? My name is Jill, my name is Robert, etc. My right? name is Renee. My name is you. Correct, correct. Now, next question. Um, where are you from? Where are you? Where are you from? 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 Originally, right, guys? Remember, originally. Okay, I am from Canada. I am from Canada. I'm from Canada. Okay. Okay. In your case, guys, what are you from? I am from Salvador. Okay, okay. I am from El Salvador, Usulutan. I am from El Salvador, Santa Ana, etc. No problem. Next question. How are you today? How are you? How are you today? How are you today? How are you today? How are you today? Answer, answer. How are you today? How are you today? I'm just fine. I'm just fine. I'm just fine. Repeat. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Repeat. I'm doing bad. I'm doing good. Nice. Very well. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm just fine. I'm just fine. So far, so good. So far, so good. So, so, so. Ok, ok, ok. Now, llegamos con preguntas más profundas. Por ejemplo, who's that? Hay una who's tercera that? persona. Who's Tengo that? una conversación, who's right? That? Pero hay una who's tercera that? persona que yo desconozco. Who's that? Who's that? Who's It's that? one person. Who's that? Entonces, doy la relación que tengo con esta persona. He's my brother. He's my classmate. Uh, he's in my English class. He's my father. She's my sister. Whatever relationship, whatever connection that you have with this uh, individual. You understand? Yes. Y si fuera yes. dos personas, tres personas, si fuera un grupo, sister. ya no usaría el is, sino usaría are. Who are they? Who are they? Who are they? ¿Quiénes son ellos? ¿Quiénes son ellos? Who are they? 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 They are, they are, plural, plural, they are, they are my classmates, my classmates, they are my classmates, they are my classmates, um, how old is he, ya preguntando la edad de una tercera persona, how old is he? How old is he? How old is he? ¿Cuántos años tiene ella? How do you say cuántos años tiene ella? How old is she? ¿Cuántos años tiene él? How old is he? ¿Cuántos años tienes tú? How old are you? Sí, estamos bien ahí. How old are you? How old are you? How old is he? Man, man. How old is he? How old is she? A woman. How old are you? How old is she? How old are they? ¿Cuántos años tienen ellos? Ellas. How old are you? How old are they? Entonces, watch, watch that out, okay? Y ahí la respuesta, right? Damos la edad siempre usando uh, un subject pronoun, right? Podríamos decir 21, 25, solo la edad, pero es eh, recomendable usar un subject pronoun cada vez que damos un, un statement. 
Ok. Si es, en ella, si es en ella, usaríamos el she's, ¿verdad? El she. Eh, correcto. En la respuesta Por sería she. she's. She's 20. Who old she, is she? Who la pregunta is she? sí. How old is she? She's 21. How old is she? La respuesta, she's 21. Is she? she is 21. She's 21. She is Ojo, 21. vamos a la she siguiente pregunta. Ahí desde ya. Uh, no, guys, no, don't translate. Don't translate into Spanish. Yo sé que al principio por inercia no va a pasar, pero lo recomendable es Do not translate English to Spanish. English is difficult to be translated in Spanish. What we do with English is that we interpret. We interpret English into Spanish. Porque vamos a interpretarlo. Um, no se traduce. Por ejemplo, esta pregunta. What he like? Nosotros conocemos el verbo like. Gustar. Me gusta. Gustar. Ajá, me gusta. gusta. Pero no solamente es eso. Okay. De, de comparar también. Se puede también hacer de, es... como la palabra como. Correcto. De, de descripción. Es, es hacer una similitud con algo. Pongámosle ahí, eh, aparte, ¿verdad? Esa nota al verbo like. Eso tiene de especial que en una pregunta nos hace, uh, nos hace referencia a un description. Si yo le pregunto a usted, uh, what's El Salvador like? What's El Salvador like? Estoy pidiendo que description of El Salvador, information about El Salvador. Entonces usted me va a decir, ah, it's, it's very dangerous. <laughs> ah, it's very uh, tropical. No, oh, mami, estoy en clase. Ah, it's, mom, I'm in English class, mommy, come on. I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> okay, so, for example, you say, um, It's beautiful, right? <gasps> es una descripción. What's he like? ¿Cómo es él? Uh -huh. She is beautiful. Si estoy hablando de él, puedo que esté hablando de oh. mi hermano, por ejemplo. What's he like? What's he like? Ah, he's very nice. He's, he's very tall. intelligent. Estoy dando información, description. He's oh, very he's nice. very tall. He's very studious. He's very, ah, he, he likes He's English. very strong. Ah, he's very strong. Okay, he's bilingual. He is a mechanic. Yes? Fuera del verbo, se trata con otro pronombre, ¿verdad? Al final. Repítame, Miss. Si fuera el verbo gustar, se contactaría con otro pronombre, ¿verdad? Si nos refiriéramos al verbo de, de like como de gustar, ¿verdad? Ah, entonces sería otro tipo de pregunta. Ya ahí ya tendremos que meter el do y el das. Ya Ajá. se auxiliaría de, de, de eso para poder... Otro, otro auxiliar. Uh -huh. Ok. Guys, I have a question. What's... What's... Um, what's... The Cameron Hotel like. The food. It's beautiful. It's very beautiful. It's, It's great. very beautiful. It's great. It's Correcto. hungry. It's nice. Okay, very good. Um, what's 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 English corporativo like? The metro. Very good. nice. It's very good. Very time. interesting. Very good. It's very, very good. good. Very cool. Very interesting. Very good. What's this English class like? It's very nice. It's very intense. It's excellent. It's very nice. It's excellent. It's very it's interesting. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh my God. Thank you. All right. <laughs> See? Ahora, si describimos. Uh, una, una, una ciudad, sí, usamos it's, right? Si describimos una persona, what's, what's he like? What's she like? ¿Cómo es ella? ¿Cómo es él? Ok, what are your classes like? Ya está en plural. Hay que identificar el noun. Yo les puedo preguntar, what are your classes? Classes, plural. What are your classes like? Ah, my classes, uso el sujeto para no complicarme. My classes are Cool. My classes are nice. You know, also the subject pronoun. They are, they are interesting. They are nice. All right? Okay. 
Vamos sure. a los plurales, vamos a los plurales. Who are they? Repeat, who are they? 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 They are, ese grupo, ellos, ellas, ellos son, ellas son, they are my classmates. They are my classmates. They are my classmates. Classmates. Where are they from? Repeat, where are they from? Where are they from? Where are they from? Where are they from? They are from Rio. They are from Rio. They are from Rio. They are from Rio. Origin. Origin, right? What's Rio like? What's, What's real, real life? life? What's real life? What's real life? It's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. It's very, 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 it's very beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. I have a question for you, class. I have a question for you. Who are who are Angel La Parada and Andrea Sanchez? ¿Qué van a decir ustedes? It's uh, beautiful. <laughs> she Who? is beautiful. Who? Who are Angela they... Maria and Andrea Sanchez? They are students for English class. They are students for this English class. That is correct. They are. They are my classmates. Teacher. Yes. Si se, en ese who fuera de ellas, siempre se contestaría a. Perdone, Miss, otra vez. Si fueran ellas, ¿cómo se diría? Siempre. They are. They are. La ventaja de en inglés es que no, no sea, okay. es el mismo masculino o femenino, ¿verdad? Siempre okay. vamos a decir el mismo subject. Ok, example, example, next question, next question. Uh, where are where are Bernardo and Andrea from? They are from they are from El Salvador. Correct. They are from El Salvador. Okay. Where is where is um Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt from? They are from, they are from USA. Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> they are from Hollywood. They are from the United States. Yes. What's what's the United States like? It's very it's great. Very, it's very it's country beautiful. Beautiful country. It's a beautiful country. Very beautiful nice. Country. Very nice. Next question. Next question. Who is who is Adam Wilfredo Arevalo, guys? Who's that? <laughs> He's from El Salvador. Uh, uh, uh. No. Identify the question. Identify the question. Who? Who is Adan Wilfredo Arevalo Linares? Who's that? Who's that? That's my classmate. A student. He's my classmate. He is a student He's from this student. class. Yay. Yeah. See? You have to give a relationship, a connection. Okay. Hey, guys. How old is how old is Carmen Escamilla? Do you know? I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know. Sorry, Carmen Escamilla. Who are you? He don't say. Sorry, I don't know. Muy bien. ¿Quién hizo la pregunta? Vaya, Miss Carmen Escamilla. Repeat the question. Repeat the question for Carmen. Sorry, Carmen. How old are you? Excuse me. How old are you? How old are you? Very well. How old are you? Carmen? 
How old are you? How old are you, Carmen? How old are you, Carmen? Qué coso, ¿verdad? Qué coso. I need to you. <laughs> I need to your information. <laughs> it's, hey, it's for practicing purposes, okay? <laughs> bueno, creo que la perdimos a Carmen. Let's change victims. Vámonos con Andrea Geraldine. ¿Está Andrea? Yes. I am okay. here. Class, class, how old is Andrea Geraldine? Do you know? No. 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 Let's, I don't let's know. ask her. Let's ask her. I don't know. I, I don't know. Excuse me, how old are you? I am 31 years old. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, how old is she? How old is she? She's 20. She's 21 years old. One years old. One years old. Did she say did she say 21 or 31? 21. 21. 21. Sí, porque ahí sería bastante grande el error, ¿verdad? Thank you. She's 21. You're old. Hey guys, están geniales ustedes, están activados, me llega, me llega, ¿cómo estamos? Antes que se me olvide, porque, dígame, Miss. I have a question. Yes. Uh, Rio is river. Sorry? Rio, que ahí es river. Rio, Rio se dice river. River. Pero en la pregunta parecía Rio. Oh, Rio es, es la ciudad Brasil. de Rio, Rio de Janeiro. Brasil. Sí, como este libro usa ciudades de, de todo el mundo, Brasil. right? Ahí va a ver usted Delhi, de Marruecos, ahí va a ver usted de China. Ahorita salió la conversación de, de Bijan, de John, a city from China. Entonces son ciudades no pues conocidas para nosotros. So ahí era Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. Right. Okay. Brasilia. Brazil, it's from Brazil. Ah, yeah. usted sabe, usted sabe de Brazil. Han dado por ahí en el yeah, carnaval, yeah. ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> ok, vamos a mencionar a los que no estaban. Let me see. Bernardo Antonio Herrera Díaz. Presente, teacher. Present, all right. Present. Ok, let's go with Blanca Jamilet Aquino Villa Mariona. Okay, and Brenda Maricela Tovar Aguilar. Okay, and Carlos Alejandro Perez Caravantes. Okay, and Daniela Alejandra Candray Galvez. Ya está, verdad, Miss Candray? Ella fue quien me dijo, verdad? Aquí estoy, sí. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. Can try, can try. 27. Okay, okay. Ahí estamos. 28. David Antonio Lopez Torres. Are you here? Nope. And 30. David Ezequiel Sanchez Muñoz. Okay. Excellent, guys. Eh, bueno, any questions so far? Any question? Casi de la nada, mañana estaríamos cumpliendo nuestra segunda semana, guys. Ya, así. Uh, super yeah. fast, super fast, super duper. Y yo quiero felicitarlos porque siento que ustedes están, eh, o sea, en esta hora, súper concentrados, ¿verdad? A pesar de que siempre hay unos comerciales por ahí, pero... Eh, sé que es inevitable, ¿verdad? Pero sí sé que en un 99%, 98% están comprometidos. Quiero detenerme un ratito para sinceramente darles mi respeto, ¿verdad? Los felicito por el interés bien grande que ustedes tienen. Eh, como ustedes notan, yo también me entrego, ¿verdad? En esta hora, eh, full con ustedes para, pues, resolverles tantas dudas que les puedan ocurrir y, pues, para pulirles ahí su, su pronunciación. Así que, keep practicing, sigan avanzando en la plataforma. Okay. Espero que vayamos al sí, día sí. con la plataforma, ¿ok? Y, claro, si tienen preguntas, let me know. You have any questions so far? Any question? Yes, teacher. Yes. No questions? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes you have questions. What's the question? 
No, no questions. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know questions. Question. You don't have questions. You say, I don't have questions. I don't have a question. I don't, I have, don't a question. have a question. Okay. question. Okay. If you, if you think of a new question, let me know. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night, Bye. everyone. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 See you soon tomorrow at 8 p.m. See you soon tomorrow. Bye. Bye. -bye. See you later. Bye, Bye Andrea. Sweet Bye. dreams. Bye, teacher. See you later, alligator. Bye, Carlos. Bye, Antonio. Bye, Alan. Bye, Carmen. Bye, teacher. Bye, everyone. Good night. Bye, teacher.